As everyone knows, I am one of those happy few who think that Spanish politics would benefit from a British touch. I am, in Ian Buruma's sense, a true, a true Anglomaniac. For example, I like constituencies, and I like that every MP is proud to have gained the confidence of his fellow citizens. And I like the majority system, and I like the independence it grants to each MP. Just as I like that political parties are not monolithic. I like that British people do not tolerate lies in public life. I like fair play. I like fair play. This means that I like discussions like those that MPs have here in the House of Commons. Indeed, I even like that Great Britain does not have a written constitution. It is the best demonstration that nobody, absolutely nobody in this country, doubts about their nation, what their nation is, what their rights are, and what their responsibilities are. I like question times in the Commons, which is much more effective and direct than our government-controlled system. I like English people because they value individualism and mistrust collectivisms. That explains why they have always defended freedom and why, when some fall into the temptation of being socialist, they become Fabianists, which is a very light form of socialism. I like that in England, people value originality and even eccentricity, because I do not like everyone to think the same, to be the same, and to act the same. For that reason, because English people like cultivating that originality, there have been many who have become, become Hispanomaniacs. It will never cease to surprise me that the Club Taurino of London has 335 members. I do not think there is a larger bullfighting club in the world. <laughs> Each member pays 40 pounds per annum, and the club publishes six times a year a magazine called La Divisa, full of knowledgeable Taurin information. I also like British patriotism. That patriotism that makes them always defend the interest of their homeland, making them hard and difficult opponents to beat in real battlefields and in all dialectic battles. <laughs> Even though I admire and love England and the English people and many of their customs and way of life, this does not mean that I want Spain to be like England, because I also love Spain and Spanish customs and traditions. Deep down, Anglomaniacs like me and Hispanomaniacs like many of you have the same problem. We miss from the other country what we lack in our own. And that is why I think it is good to cultivate a mixture of the two cultures and the two ways of being, like this British-Spanish society does. I truly believe that a good mixture of these two ways of understanding life, the British and the Spanish, could be an ideal formula for everything. Although some might find it hard to believe, I must say that this has been the speech that I have found most daunting. And in my political life, I can assure you, I may have been given several thousand speeches. <laughs> and secondly, 
my pride in being Spanish and my conviction that with a few drops of Anglomania, everything in Spain would work better. And with a few drops of Hispanomania, everything in Britain would also work better. <laughs> and before I come to an end, and what a wonderful gala dinner you have organized. Thank you, David. Thank you very much to you all.